Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing and another phenomenal update here real quick as we're winding our work day down and we want to give you a quick video because I got a lot of packing to do tonight so I don't know how many videos I'm going to get out but we're going to start with XRP everyone's favorite coin that has been having some very bearish news recently and some sentiment in the market getting delisted from some platforms around the country or around the world uh, Canada was the latest major country uh, to throw a spit on the fire of the hype train, right? But you can see what we got going on here in the XRP as our chart is running very slow today. There we go. There's our lines. And we're going to go, we, we want to be in the three hour time frame. I like the three and the four hour time frames. It gives us some good perspective of the market. And you can see the chart still loading because this is running very slow at work. But you can see if we zoom in, we don't even need to look back there. We just need to go right here at the current chart. You can see what we've had here with our pointer tool as we've worked our way through this falling channel. You can see we've hit several areas. Get that up there. We've hit several areas of resistance and a fake out. Resistance, resistance, a whole cluster of resistance, a wick down to support, bought back up. Resistance, a wick down to support, bought back up. Rejected, flush to support. Uh, bought back up, traded sideways, rejected by upper resistance, flush, support, double bottom flush, support, pump to uh, $1.19, flush, all the way through down to our ring down here and got bought right back up and got rejected now as upper resistance when it was support, 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 and support, right, and resistance, then it was resistance and flushed. Bought back up, resistance, consolidation, pump through, and then come all the way up to upper resistance to a T, and then flush. Then got supported, then a flush, then got supported. And now if you look at that, what's going on here, what you might be building here in the shorter time frame is you could have a left shoulder, a head, and a right shoulder developing right here, right? And that could take this up here to get rejected which if you get rejected today or tomorrow, the 17th, you can see that lines up beautifully with your top right here. And that would be the right shoulder finishing there, coming back to the neckline, and then you break down to the neckline. And your neckline would be down there, and your targeted move would be from the head to the bottom of the neckline to the point of a breakout, right? That's how you do targeted moves the point of a breakout over here into the future and you can see your targeted move brings you right down there to 57 cents and your double bottom that we've been forecasting and if you're waiting for a nice bounce uh, after being just massively beaten down in xrp as it's down i don't know 65 70 percent now from the top this after a huge wick and then comes sliding back down for that rounded double bottom this could be a spot where you could have buys in and around this 57 cent area and you're right at the point one, point two, and point three, and point four, way up here would be your most upper resistance if you're trying to buy a bounce off of this. But you would think you would have a good opportunity for a 21 to possibly 36.69% pump. And on the biggest pump possible, 100% pump, but I am not forecasting that. But I could absolutely see this flush down, fill the target and move, maybe come a little bit below, build another base, and then trade up come through, get back into this uh, traded area, and then finish it out. And that would be a phenomenal buy from 57, 56, 55, 58 cents, and then selling it 76, 78, 80 cents, right? So that's what we're watching out for in XRP. That's what's going on in the old XRP. As old Zelensky goes to take a piss, so we're going to wrap this up real quick. And then we're going to move along to XLM. Right, and you can see we're coming back down on that beautiful ring system that we've had and been playing. You can see from back here, we got support, support, flush, support on the 29 cent ring, resistance on the prior 31 cent ring, double resistance, and then a flush through the next ring, flushed it, bought back up, resupported on the 25 cent ring, bought back up to the moving average flush, and now you can see where we're at now. And as we've been following these ring system is if you can't hold like we call this beautifully back here on the pump we said 29 cents would be rejected and you come back down to 25 and you have let's just move these to the current time frame is all i ever do with these i like to move them over to the current time frame 
So you can see as what we were talking about here is I figured out the pause button when I'm recording, which is phenomenal, right? So I can talk and I have to delete. But you can see, so what we got going on now is we come back down to this next ring. And like I was saying, all I ever do is I just move stuff over to the current time frame. I don't ever really change much. But like here, I'm not going to sit here when I'm setting up a chart to get my video ready. I'm not going to go, I moved the uh, moving average from the same ring from back here to the current day, right? That's all I ever do for transparency. I always leave these rings in the same spot. If I'm going to move them, I will move them live, right? Or if identify new support and resistances. I like to do that with you guys here following along with me. So we're all at the same page and we understand that I'm not moving lines to make these look like I like the charts working or the technical trading style is working, right? You guys can watch any of these videos these lines don't move i just move my little price notes that i write and my price labels that i have and then we, you know we move them into the future so if we're looking here now right here in this group you're trying to build a base but if we slip back through here on the 25 cent level we're going to trade down really quickly to this 22 cent underneath support right and that's where i think you would end up and that coincides with that nice beautiful wick down there right at the 22 and a half cent level so that's what i think you're going to go do now if you're trying to get bullish you got to hold this as support and have a nice volume spike and come back test again this 30 cent level but what most likely happen is that 200 day moving average in green just above the blue the 100 and the red the 50 would probably force you back down you do something like that and then flush right i think you're coming down here just like all these coins when you get these big wicks like that that means there's heavy buy pressure there and they get bought back up on a flush because it's a technical trading level that people are stacking buys hoping to catch a rally and then they sell all into this up here right and then but they always usually do this in a jaggedy fashion and then they slope down and then everyone gets bearish they can make a little bit of a new low and then bam they shoot back up right and have that overshot rally so this might be a spot to buy down here on xlm but if it fails to hold that unfortunately see like i was talking to you just now this was back here as a target on a flush down on December 7th, but since we've moved into the future now, we're gonna move this all the way down to the to Christmas day over here. As if you fail this support, this would be your next buy zone down there at 14 cents. So that's what we're looking at in XLM. I'm very bearish on most of these coins right now going into the holiday season because they're all in bearish patterns. And even if one or two break bullish, most of these are gonna break bearish because they're bearish patterns. Like this is a descending triangle right if you want to overlay some lines on with our fib circles you can see this is a beautiful descending triangle where we're gonna make these less defined and then bring that to a dollar color you can see this is a descending channel and i'll show you how this is a descending channel right now here in just a few moments right so you can see what you have here you got resistance one two three where you actually came up and hit you got support one two three four and this would be your fifth time on horizontal support in the same area right around 24 and a half cents and three hits on upper resistance on a descending where your first hit was higher than your second and your third right and then if you hit it again up here for a fourth it would be lower see that that's a descending channel that's a bearish continuation pattern after the great dump right there and the targeted move would be from the top to the bottom of the channel to the point of a breakout right and that point of a breakout say it happened over here would flush you way down making a run towards that 14 cent ring or what that could be would be breakout of a pattern like this similar to what xrp did about six weeks ago is you're in this pattern and then you fulfill it dance around get supported come back up do a little fake out come back down and then flush really quick hit that target and immediately get bought back up and then back test this ring at the 0.22 uh the 22 and a half cent get rejected a little bit get supported and then shoot back in and try to come back up and then back test this ring on a quick flip from a pattern fulfillment on the pattern breakdown of a bearish continuation pattern right and xrp did that and if it did that that would be a 44 percent uh return from 16 cents to 27 cents so we're going to keep an eye on that to see if maybe this isn't what the pattern is going to be right something similar to this where we can put our long term we can put our price predicting uh forecast here so we come down 
then we get supported, then we do a little fake out, then we come down, and then we flush all the way down, and then we quickly get bought back up, and then we do a little, and you know, then we get bought back up to there, right? We could be doing something like that. So I'm gonna pay attention for that and keep a very, very close eye out on that, right? And the Oxalam, like, subscribe, and share to Vincenzo's Go Crypto Investing. I'll try to give you more updates today, but I have a lot of packing, cleaning up the hotel, and loading up the truck to get ready after a day of work tomorrow to get on back to the great state of Michigan in the greater Roseville metropolitan area, right? Peace and love, peace and love.